Hi everybody! Just kidding. Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Sunmi E and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review on It's a 10 hair product. I've been using it for about 6 weeks now and I feel like that's good enough time for me to grasp um, how well this product is working for me. Uh, just to let you guys know, the type of hair that I have is thick, it's coarse, it's wavy, and certain areas of my hair um, it's uneven textured and what I mean by uneven texture is uh, certain areas are thicker and other areas are thin. I have no idea why that is. I'm sure it has to do with my diet because I tend to love certain types of food and I'll eat just that and then get tired of it and then I'll go and revisit some other food that I used to love and eat that for a while. So that could be my inconsistency in how I eat but I'm not sure. So for the past 15 years, I have been um, dyeing my hair, letting my hair grow out, dyeing my hair, letting my hair grow out. And I'm at the phase of my hair life where I just kind of want to let the natural hair grow and really just protect and uh, get my natural hair to be healthy as possible. So I stumbled on this product. It's a 10. I've been using it for six weeks. And during those six weeks, I've been using it uh, once a week or sometimes twice a week. Uh, right after getting out of the shower with damp hair, I would apply this product and leave it on between uh, 3 to 6 hours or sometimes overnight, uh, depending on how my schedule is. And between using this product, I would still incorporate my normal hair routine, which is using a heat protectant before I blow dry. And after blow drying, I would use a uh, oil, uh, uh, hair oil to uh, give it some shine. So, do I think this product um, works and do I think if this product is worth it? My answer to that is a no. Only because I feel like um, this product being a $40 for 8 ounces, which is equivalent to a cup, I feel like if you already have a hair routine that works, um, you don't have to spend an extra $40. But with all the other hair products that I'm using right now, I feel like this hair mask is unnecessary. Actually, in fact, it feels really close to my leave-on conditioner. Um, it's a little bit thicker and therefore it's called a mask, but I feel like it's no different from the leave-in conditioner that I already have. So, um, However, if you don't have a hair routine and you don't have the hair texture like I do, um, go ahead and buy this and use this alone. But I you know it's an expensive product and if you don't want to you know, spend this much money, you don't have to if you already have other stuff. There's other alternatives that you can use. So that is it. So hopefully you enjoyed my video. I tried to make this as short as possible so that you guys can just see this review alone. Have a very, very good day and then see you guys next time. Bye guys!